Oh, hey, I'm trying to figure out what I should wear for this upcoming work meeting. My boss will be there monitoring the interaction, so I want something that reflects me at my best. Kind of like how port mirroring is used on a network switch. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we'll show you how to configure port mirroring on a CBS 250 or 350 series switch through the device's web interface. Next. Port mirroring is a method of copying and sending network packets from a port to another port from a monitoring computer, switch, or device. Let's get into our switch's web interface. Up in the top right, make sure it says Advanced. On the left side of our screen, we'll find the Status and Statistics tab. Navigate to Span. This is another term for port mirroring. It stands for Switch Port Analyzer. We can see here we have span session sources and span session destinations. The source is the port that has the device that we're having a problem in. We want to monitor the packet and activity it's coming from. For this example, let's say we have a voice phone that's having issues. We would make the phone our source and the destination. We'll put the packet analyzer in the port. We'll use Wireshark for this example. In our source, click the blue plus We'll navigate to our source interface, then select our device's port that's having a problem. For us, it's port 7. For monitor type, we have RX or TX. Select RX and TX. RX stands for receipt traffic, and TX stands for transmit traffic. At the bottom right in blue, hit apply. We're on the home stretch. On the left, navigate to span session destination. Click the blue plus at the top choose a port. On our network, we're going to select port 6 because that's where we have Wireshark. Enable the network traffic and then hit apply. Lastly, click the red floppy disk flashing at the top right to save. That's the process for port mirroring on the web interface of the switch. Hopefully this gives you something to reflect on in the future. Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.